Kintsukori is the Japanese art of taking fragmented pottery and putting it back together with gold joining the pieces together. It's a form of art that takes the fractures not as flaws to be hidden, but as areas of strength and beauty once properly healed. In our own tradition, it says in the Gemara, Makom shabale tshuva omdin, tzadikim gamorin enam omdin. The place where those who have healed their broken places, who have incorporated their scars into their identity, who have overcome their struggles, those people stand in a place where those who have never struggled cannot possibly achieve. We come to the end of our cycle now. We began with tekiah, with that sense of fullness at the very beginning or the imagined place in our life. We've moved through Shivarim, the separation from our own impulses, our ancestors. We've moved through Trua, the shattering experiences of our life. And we come now to the Tekiah Gedola. Now you might remember that I said earlier the Tekiah Gedola is three times as long as the Tekiah. The Tekiah Gedola is long enough to incorporate all of those other parts. Tekiah, Shivarim, Trua because the full Tkiah Gedola contains all of that. In the same way, a beautiful piece of pottery contains the whole parts and the fragments as well. We come now to the end of our davening, to the end of this cycle, and I invite you to reflect on the journey you've been on. Even just this morning, the journey of examining the places where we're broken and the places where we're healed, the places where we're full and the places where we hope to grow. And I invite you, and I'm entirely literal and serious about this, to stand up now and in the fullness of who you are, in your pain and in your glory, in your healthy places and in your hurting places, to let out your own untranslatable barbaric yawp and simply scream in the fullness of who you are. Let that shofar blast out from the inside of you because who you are, everything that is awesome and everything that is flawed, everything that is healed and everything that is broken is wonderful and beautiful and worthy of celebration. So I invite you to stand up with me now and let it out. Afterward, Ellen will lead us in chanting. And when she is done, we'll hear from Ashley Baker some thoughts on what it is to integrate broken places into the fullness of our lives. Ashley is a member of BHA and our former education director and a personal coach and consultant who lives here in Beacon with her son, Ari. Now I invite you to stand and with me, one, two, three. Hayom harat olam, hayom yamid b'mishpat. Kol yitzurei olamim, kol yitzurei olamim. Im kevanim, im kevadim, im kevanim. Rachameinu kerachemav al banim veim ke avadim einenu lachol teluyot ahad shetchanenu ad shetchanenu vetotzi. Kaor mishpatenu ayam ayam kadosh areshet sifatenu yerav lefanecha el ramveni sa. Ma vinu ma azin ma bitu ma khshiv 
וחולץ קיאותינו ותקבל ברחמים וברצון סדר סדר שופרותינו שנה טובה. Lovely to be here with you all, even if we can't be together in person. Rabbi Brent, thank you for inviting me to speak about the wholeness that comes after the shattering, something I've come to know quite a bit about in the last few years. Three years ago, uh, just before my son turned 18 months old and on the five-year wedding anniversary to my high school sweetheart, my marriage abruptly ended. To say that I was devastated would be an extreme understatement. I was in total agony. I will be forever grateful to this community, BHA, for holding me in its arms through deep friendship, Shabbat dinners, the comforting sounds of davening, and simply the community life that held space for me as I put back the pieces and sorted through the broken pieces of my heart and my life and my family. One day I was at BHA and I was going through the closet, uh, clearing things out for the renovations. And in the pile of trash, I saw an old poster that said, there is nothing more whole than a broken heart. It was a quote by Rabbi Menachem Mendel, the Kutzka Rebbe, and I asked Rabbi Brent if I could have it. It hung on the wall of my personal sanctuary, my closet, <laughs> for years as a reminder of the wholeness that would come. I remember early on during that time, a frigid, cold January morning, sitting out on the cold earth and begging Shahina, the divine source of feminine in the world, um, to, to make me whole again. Not knowing what that would mean, knowing that it might be painful, it would be difficult, um, but knowing that that's what I needed to feel whole. And that's when I began to realize what felt like missing pieces of myself, pieces I hadn't noticed were missing. The, the pieces of myself that I had attributed to someone else, something else outside of me. And I went inside and I made a list of all of the things that I was missing from my relationship. And in the next column, made a list of all the different ways that Shekinah, Hashem, God, universe, humanity, whatever you want to call it, could fulfill those needs. And then I began to get to work and in partnership with the universe, with Hashem, with God, um, I began to find ways of finding those pieces of myself, creating that, growing those pieces within myself and recognizing a new wholeness that wasn't there before. There was a new fullness to life, a new fullness to myself, as I found opportunities for the type of intellectual stimulation, deep connectedness, uh, creativity, and little by little, I found myself being a new woman, very similar to who I had been before, but fuller. The pieces that felt like they were missing weren't missing anymore. Um, there was something there that was more beautiful than what I had imagined could be. Um, and so now being three years on the other side of this, I recently actually took down that poster because I no longer needed the reminder of what I would become. Instead, I was living it every day, feeling my own fullness. And so on this Rosh Hashanah, I wish for you the same. I wish for you to know the sweetness of your fullness 
and that it's always there. And in those moments of hardships that are sure to come, that we see them as opportunities to grow, to connect with ourselves, to connect with community, connect with the universe, and trust that it will all be even more beautiful than we could have imagined. Thanks for being here with me and hugs and mayak.